play, play on. Play, 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 play on. Chale, don't take it personal, baby. Yeah. Don't take it personal. I don't want no love. Don't take it personal. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. I'm Darius Black. We're here to see the premiere of the Legal Film right now. My name is Mary Hamlin III, and if you're here, you're here. But if you ain't, you're missing out. Legal Criminal on the way. Throw some weight, Big Boss, to oversee you, AKA. You know what I'm saying? You man. Y'all catch some Legal Criminal. We'll be coming out right now today. My name is Curtis Williams, and Legal Criminal, I play the Sands God, God's son, and I'm here for the premiere. How you feeling about the premiere tonight? Oh man, I'm feeling the premiere is a success. <laughs> got a real you know what I'm saying? Jale went crazy. <laughs> we did, did a thing on this film. We went crazy, long nights, you know what I'm saying? Sleepless days. You know what I mean? So legal criminal. We hoping that y'all gonna like it, you know what I'm saying? What do you think was the most satisfying experience working on this film? The most satisfying experience was the completion. You know, a lot of people don't understand, they don't know uh, the process you go through with completing the film and all the stuff that you gotta go through. So that was the most satisfying part of it, was the end of it, the completion of it. I, mean, I just can't wait to see how far we, you know, how far we take it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's growing, and I'm gonna be a part, I'm a part of it. <laughs> Legal Criminal, man, is a, I say it's a, it's a great movie, it's put together, it's about criminals that on one side they commit crimes and do a lot of crazy things, but on the other side you got some legal stuff and legal, legal characteristics going on. So I just think it's a phenomenal movie and uh, actors came here to, to act, they didn't come here to play at all, so everybody's serious about it, we take it serious and uh, I play the character Seven in the movie. And seven, uh, they say that he, he's a street street gangster. He kind of do his thing a little bit, and he doesn't play no games at all. So that's what it is. Uh, biggest takeaway is I would say I got in the character on on the uh, on the movie. Y'all will see the movie. Got in the character. To me, this is one of my uh, most intense characters that I play in you know, out of all the movies. So uh, we're we gonna give an Oscar performance. You know? And I'm not self-proclaimed. I'm gonna let y'all pick and get the job. <laughs> Tubi right now is, is, is taking over all platforms, just kind of sitting sitting there somewhere near the top, uh, next to Disney, you know, next to Disney, B, T, and Peacock, and you're going to see Tubi, Tubi's branded. Uh, <clears throat> all the producers and actors in Detroit, uh, they raised the bar and they're setting the bar high for the other cities to kind of catch up. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of the, the, new, the new wave, I would say, the new journey that we are. So uh, y'all look out, we got some more movies coming up soon too. What's the competitive nature like as an actor in Detroit? Uh, competitive nature, I would say, I, I think it's all love, you know, for the most part. I think there's different uh, genres, genres of actor, actors. Um, I say that uh, I, I fit more into the sex appeal category, so <laughs> I got my own little lane, man. And, uh, it, but it's not just me, you got a few other actors that's, that's what I'm doing that thing too. Uh, and, and I just say that, uh, with the, with the looks and the hype and everything, I got what it takes to go to that next level. So it's, it's, it's time to grind to get there. Um, and there's a lot of other people that have pure skill. I got skill too, so I got boom. So I'm a, I'm a whole package. But there's a lot of people that got pure skill and they're, they're phenomenal and they got what it takes. I don't even care if they ain't got the look. The skill right now will take them to where they need to go because uh, Detroit is the right way. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jale. I'm a 
aka Keish Underwood, producer, writer, director, star of it. So the movie is basically about uh, a rapper getting framed by his record label. And basically, he's got a lawyer, she got trial and tribulations, and um, got family members and jealous of her. I mean, she's trying to be the case that she was set up to actually lose. But she comes and conquers it because she's a big dog. So it's basically you can see her, how she goes and how she deals with things. But she a mess. She a hot mess. Detroit is Hollywood now. We didn't took over. I mean, you had Hollywood and you had, had Atlanta. Now you got Detroit and everybody's rocking to Detroit. Now, they, back in the day, when I was an uh, actress, I went to Cali. I went to Atlanta. You ain't got to do that no more. You here in Detroit, you can just go down the street and get in a motherfucking movie. My biggest takeaway is that I had actual actors that I didn't bring actors in just because of a following, just because of how they look, or just because of a talent or thing. I didn't care about talent. Most producers, they want you because of your following and they want you because of your talent. But you ain't gotta act when you come to me. I'm a coach. I trained up. If you couldn't act, I got you together. I got you looking like you were Angela Bassett, uh, Tyler P, uh, Will Smith. I got you together. So that's my biggest takeaway that I actually legal criminal a lot of people in this movie first film, first audition, and we didn't we didn't criticize them. We wasn't biased. We told them, come on, we got you. Don't worry. Hey, we on Facebook, we on YouTube. You, they gonna see this. So there's it is. We we coming. We about to knock it down. We, Made in Detroit Productions is here, so they need to get ready. How has living as a Detroiter changed your perspective as an actor? Um, living as a Detroiter really uh, didn't change my perspective, but it enhanced it. Because the, re the re reason I say that is because, you know, um, we live this life every day. So everything we write about, everything we film about is life that we live personally. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, it just really just, you know, bringing out from within yourself and seeing it on camera, this is amazing. I think it gave me a, a rough edge of myself when it comes down to being different characters. Uh, it gave me a, a, to be strong power, a strong will, and uh, not afraid to do it, take chances, because in Detroit you got to take chances out here. It's not easy to make it in the city, so it makes you tougher than, than the most that come from having the ease and make us go hard. So. Uh, just being in Detroit, I would say it changed my perspective because it shows that people can get it out the mud. And it shows that the, the grind is real, but the success is there once you finish the grind. So uh, I, I like the wages of for grind and success, how it weighs on the scale. And I would just say that um, Detroit showed the way that we can pay, you know, and uh, I, I appreciate being from Detroit and having that bloodline of being from Detroit generation to show that our grind effort is phenomenal, man. We, we beast here. Big dog. <laughs> uh, it really have not changed because in me, I'm already a creator. Everything's in my soul, my heart. Everything's already here. So Detroit, I'm not trying to knock Detroit. Detroit has nothing to do with my creativity. I'm already me. If you can't make it in Detroit, you can't make it no fucking way. You hear me? And it, it is definitely... Uh, a beautiful city, a strong city, a city where I think we can try, but we gotta stick together. So overall, you know, that's the that's the goal. She didn't give up. It took her two years to make her movie. She did not fucking give up, and I think that's the message she never give up. I just want to say thank you to everybody that came out and showed up and supported us. Every cast member that was in this production to make this film what it is, I want to thank each and every one of you, each and every one of you that touched a hand in this production, Legal Criminal. So after y'all, so, Zale, are you ready? You got something to say that? Put y'all phones on silent. <laughs> if they go off, I'm going to keep your ass out. <laughs> I'm glad y'all was here, and this was a struggle. Uh, sleepless nights. I'm glad I finally got this done. Two, two years. I wrote this film in 2016. Uh, before any of these 
legal shows, criminal shows came on. I wrote it in 2016. I was on somebody else's set writing the script. Didn't write their script. And I said, I can do something. I can really do my own. It, it's some crazy shit in it. So hey, it's just a movie. And baby, it's just a character. So don't be judging me. All right. I hope y'all enjoy. Because I'm a police officer. Take it off. <sighs> Dumbass nigga. We'll have your mother here right by your side. Nigga, Sin was the only one there going on. She was the only one that could help her. What? She's the only one that did what she had to do. When your ass couldn't. Wait, hold on, bitch. What the fuck is you doing? <laughs> Don't ever call me a bitch. Jeez, nigga. And I actually love the movie so far, but we're still watching it right now. I feel like the movie was amazing. Um, I like the storyline. My favorite character is Sin. I feel like she's supporting her people. She's trying to actually help the person, you know, that didn't do it, get out of the problem. So I feel like she's she got love for her people. Um, my other favorite person in the movie is Mayor. Silly. That's my daughter right there. Now get off my phone, baby. Come on, baby. We got 15 minutes. Uh, man. Well, forget your dog on what? Who's your favorite character? Vanessa. I think it's a wonderful movie. It's very entertaining. Looking forward to some more. Think we're going to kill Sin? I don't know. <laughs> uh, entertaining, um, somewhat comical. Yeah. Uh, uh, attention grabbing. Uh, it definitely keeps your attention uh, throughout the movie, and you're waiting for more. Well, uh, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Brianna is in some danger. Yeah, she told me, and I'm trying to keep her safe. Let me that. Come on, man. Say we can shut this out. This car and everything out. Feel like a nice little turnout for you, bro. Oh, my Lord. 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 Everyone just saw it. What's next? Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. We got three more coming. Three more. Thank you. <laughs> yep, we got three more coming. Um, y'all in for experience? It's a um a series, but it's a movie. <laughs> To be continued. Okay. Catch you out too. At the end, it was highly anticipated. I didn't know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? And uh. Like I say, shout out to John Lace. She did a thing on that, man. We worked hard on that. Yeah, it's going down. Oh, yeah, Jeff, Top Notch, he was in there. She was Top Notch party, man. Yeah, yeah. Follow, follow me, Top Notch Mar. He, he played Lucis. Go Girl coming soon. Yeah, go Girl, the movie coming soon. Go see it, gotta go see it. Two thumbs up. Hey! Okay. How y'all feel about the movie? <laughs> Mr. Carl, how you Thank feeling about you. the movie? How you feeling about oh the performance? I'm over the moon with it. I'm very excited. I love my performance. I love all the actors that was a part of the movie. It was a night to remember. I want to tell everybody me, <laughs> who haven't seen the movie yet to make sure they stream it on Tubi. It will be on Tubi soon, soon, soon. We're coming to your right in your home. You know, it's been a lot in the making. You know, I didn't know exactly what what was gonna come out of this but as you can see it was a night to remember it was nothing but success we kept it juicy all night and this is legal criminal coming to your movie theaters we're gonna do more premieres we're gonna do premieres in other states and we also want to have it right in your home
movie was fun. Um, I had a good time making it. You know I mean, uh, acting in it. Honestly, did not know. I didn't honestly did not know what was gonna happen at the end, so I was kind of shocked. Yeah, the movie was just a real funny movie. Like, I don't usually laugh at movies like that, but that movie was actually funny. Shout out to my guy right here, Tom Nagmore. He did his thing. Great film. I'm gonna say this on record. Coming next. So, but I like everybody, man. Great film. You see me all joking, laughing. So, great film. I enjoyed it, man. It's my first time too. First time coming to I enjoyed it. What do you mean the same way you took from this film? I trust nobody, man. You can't, you can't, you can't even trust your own mom, apparently. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hear me out. Just not you can't trust, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta be mindful of who you who you get your friendship to and just make sure you always keep your head on the swivel. Yeah, they did a good job with that movie. Okay, it was long in the mud, but it was it was worth it though. Yeah, it was worth it. Was long, you and it know, keep you laughing too. You know, motherfuckers like to keep you laughing. It was amazing though, you know. It was amazing. Yeah, you know, you say favorite character, right in the movie? Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Maybe I'm a little biased. Everybody did that. Everybody. 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 That is a movie I would recommend to y'all. If y'all haven't seen it, if y'all get a chance to see it, I don't know what platform to come out on. The definitely. Uh, the storyline, everything was good. It was definitely a big twist at the end. She was praying and reciting her scriptures. I did not think she was going to so I am definitely excited for part two. Okay, the touching moment. She went to actually look for her godson. Um, I think that touch home because me and my best friend are godparents to each other's kids and it's nothing we would never fucking do for our kids. So that, that really, you know, hit home. But I think, me personally, the overall message was drugs, violence, and just helping people. That's life though. Um, overall, it was absolutely one of the best new Tubi films from Detroit that I think is going to be popping. Be After watching this film, I think people should take away, like, don't take nothing for granted. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people take life and they take situations and positions, they take it for granted. You know, I think you should just uh, maximize your potential. You know, that's the only thing you do. Be loyal to you. Be loyal to you. Listen to your own self, because you know, you know what's best for you. They should take away, like, the funniness because like the movie is real funny like i said this character is more intense so what i would like them to take away from this is uh that yeah there is black and don't play <laughs> i don't know it's a lot of takeaways people gonna love you gonna laugh you gonna cry you gonna be mad you might even close your eyes from some things it's just all around a different type of um suspense drama it ain't just hood we I'm just saying, Made in Detroit Productions, we here. We knock the doors down and get ready for it.